I am thinking about starting a new series. There's a lot of things I do while I'm driving around that pertain to primitive things, to survival, to collecting things, and stuff from the sides of the road. And since I spend a lot of time in my truck, why not videotape some of my roadside adventures? Eh, hopefully it'll be interesting. I'll even show you some of the areas that I frequent, some of the things I always watch for as I'm driving down the road. I'm not quite sure what to call it. Primitive truck adventure number one. This right here is one of my favorite, yeah not favorite, but this here is one of my fun, fun spots I enjoy. There's a little trail that most people don't know is there. First off, let's take a look around my truck. All right, what's on my dashboard? Oh, look, what's this on my dashboard? Oh, it's a bag of M&Ms. Oh, wow. Okay, so I have a weakness for M&Ms. All right, in this little glasses case here, safety glasses case, I have a number of different spalls in different stages of manufacture. Jasper, different types of Jasper, some agates. Just in case, I might need have need of uh, napping. My console here, I have a number of things. Oh look, there's a knife, that looks familiar. And a Jasper Arrowhead I'm working on. It's not finished yet, but these things take time. Hammer stones. Piece of leather. Sandstone. Bone things, these are all done primitively bone tools. Boy, this thing here is just sharp as a razor. Well, maybe not sharp as a razor, but it's really sharp. Bone needles. Leather. Oh, yes! Look at this! I also have... Uh, There's a piece of sinew. Cordage. And I was working on... And I was working on an experimental harpoon head. A lot of times I'll make prototypes non-primitively to make sure that the finished product will actually work before I spend a great amount of time doing things primitively. Uh, the, this, the sinew cordage went through a hole I drilled and came out the other side and in the twist in the very end of the sinew I put a little stick, a little, a little section of bone and then pulled it against the edge and then applied the sinew. So that's how, and then the shaft, fore shaft, will attach right here to the, to there. Prepare to die. Um, there's about a half mile strip of the creek here. Huh, very interesting. Looks like someone's been here. I wonder who that could be. Let's see. Stone flakes. Huh. Sandstone. Pigments. Oh, there's some nice cedar withies over there. Is a piece? Well, let's take it over the shade and I'll, we'll see if it has a nice, uh, we'll see if it flakes nicely. I also found a nice bucket somebody left down here. That's a nice fracture. This rock has potential. Oh, look at that. Got a feather. Nice track. Probably a raccoon. Give it a whirl.
starting to get it evened out a little bit, but I gotta get going. I think I'll stash them in the bushes here, and we'll come back. Take my bucket. Oh, my feather. I think I'll leave the feather here too. Made an agreement with my wife that if uh, if I'm going to be home from work late, that I'm going to that I'll call her. So I need to get going. And according to my watch, I am I'm late, but I'm only a couple minutes from home, so I'm not too late. They're doing some logging. They're logging a pretty tough unit because there's houses at the bottom of that hill. Love to play with one of those machines for a day. There's Sparkle Dog. Sparky Dog. There's Sparky Dog. Hi there, bud. Why are you making chicken noises? You sound like a chicken. Oh, there it is. To be continued.